Cards Card Shop, Eric, here live at Hall of Fame Baseball Cards, HOFBC.com, where we all also do basketball cards, and we're getting ready to do our 2018-19 Panini Basketball 3-Box Mixer, our first Panini group break uh, for basketball that we've ever done. I'm excited about this, just something to uh, test the waters. Um, with me, as always, is Card Shop Matt. Say what's up, Matty. What's up, people? As always, of late, I should say, uh, it's been fun uh, sitting side by side with Matt, just having some dual commentary, and we're gonna keep trying to do this as much as uh, as much as we can. Um, this break in, consists of a box of NBA hoops, a box of uh, certified, and a box of Donruss. All pretty fairly new products. They all released uh, this month, November. Um, and uh, if you're watching this break and you missed getting into this break but you're curious about maybe our next one or want to jump into our next one we just uh set up a brand new panini basketball mixer break for only 20 bucks a spot including a brand new box of the up and coming absolute which releases next week um as well as prism certified and donruss as well there's also a panini football break and a bowman's best baseball full case break so plenty of stuff right now at our uh, website hall of fame baseball cards.com for now, uh, we're going to get right into this break, but I'm going to show you a quick list of all the uh, participants. Quick scroll up the list right here. If you uh, are wondering how you got matched up with the teams you did, we posted our list randomizer video earlier today. You're welcome to go back and watch that, and you can see exactly how you randomly got matched up with these basketball teams. Thank you to all these people on the left side. These are all the participants. Thanks very much for jumping into our first basketball group break. Hopefully the first of many. Many. I am going to kick things off right now with uh, the box of hoops. Hoops is uh, usually the first release of the season for Panini Basketball. And uh, it's one of the original basketball brands. Um... And I'm going to get into this box right now. Thanks and good luck to everybody. Let's check out some Panini Hoops basketball while we're getting into this. How about some shout-outs? Tell us where you're watching from. We are located in Arcadia, California. Where are you guys located? Comment right now, either live or afterwards. You can make a comment. We'll maybe uh, give you a quick thank you. Um, let me know where you're watching from right now. We got uh, Nate Dog in Ashland. We got Brandon and uh, somewhere that's sp spelled weird. <laughs> Brody, Maine, Brandon, Ontario. John, what's up, John? Rhode Island, Swag, Wisconsin. Clint, Newberry Park. Baseball Michael, Ohio. Aiden in Atlanta. Very cool. Are you guys all basketball fans or are you just entertainment and YouTube fans? Um, if you're a basketball fan, why don't you tell us right now uh, who's your favorite team? As we check out this first pack of NBA hoops, um, maybe Matt can share. Share. There's Kyle Kuzma, Matty. What's your just first impressions? Fresh impressions as we're rolling out the hoops here. What are you thinking? Oh, you know, I think they're very clean. They're kind of a conservative design, but they take me back to when we were always chasing David Robinson in that first. I think it was like '88 or '89 hoops, yeah. and that was a very clean white back card. Yeah. In fact, you can grab reach reach up there. Reach up there, grab one of those packs. We'll actually show off one of the original. Upper left there, upper left. Okay. Grab one of those original packs. It's actually right next to us. I love these uh, archaeologists inserts in this uh, current one right here. These are cool cards right there. My column with the Portland Trail Blazers. I'll just give a quick shout out to whoever has the Portland Trail Blazers. That's Benny J. There you go. And now I want to show off. What, let me see real quick, just to show off. An original pack of hoops right at the top of the break here that we have on our shelf still. This is from like 19, uh, there it is, 1989. NBA Hoops, back when Hoops was their own company. You want to see this? And maybe I'll just, I'll include these in the break spots as well. Check, check, <laughs> check this out just for fun. Kevin Duckworth. Oh, yeah. So you can see real quick, that's an all-star. We'll compare, we'll compare. There's a Clyde, Clyde the Glide, Drexler. And here's the uh, the base the base cards from '89, and then on the right the base cards from 2018. Uh, what was that? 30 years later. Yeah. 
So very, very. What do you say? Conservative. I would say conservative. But I it's, would... it's sticking to the brand type, right? Mm -hmm. Sticking to what they do. So that's cool. Uh, Xavier McDaniel. There we got uh, Will Perdue. Oh, yeah. Remember Will Perdue? Caldwell Jones, Roy Tarpley, Kenny Smith, Jim Paxson, Tim McCormick, Carl the Mailman Malone. Right there. That's a cool All Star Game card. Mike Sanders, Wayne Rollins, Michael Fratello, Tom Garrick, and Joe Dumas. Right. The Michael Jordan stopper, supposedly. Yeah, I always loved hearing his name announced over the uh, the, the PA system like that. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> that's some original hoops. Back to the current hoops. I saw CJ chime in. What's up, CJ? Monrovia, Lone Star in Fort Worth, Mona in Monrovia. Cool. Shout out to everyone wa watching. Here's a DeAndre Ayton rookie. Oh, number one. The Phoenix Suns. Let's see who's got the Phoenix Suns. Uh, uh, Jorge F. Gets a little DeAndre Ayton rookie right there. That's pretty cool. Not bad. Um, let's see. Raymond Felton. Uh, Joe Harris. There's a little insert. Another. Ooh, another DeAndre Ayton. Uh, we got next. Little insert right there. That's cool. Allen Iverson and uh, Maxi Clever. That's very cool right there. I'm just randomly picking packs out of this stack of, of the box here. Just going every which way around it all. <clears throat> Current temperature in uh, Arcadia, California is probably about what? Matty, you got that on your watch right now? It's coming right now. I'm going to say it's about 69, 70 degrees. Somebody asked. Somebody asked her right now. 68, man. You're hey, right there. 68 degrees. It's sunny. There might be a couple clouds, but definitely nothing crazy. Um, here's a uh, Jeremy Lamb numbered uh, refractor right here. Number 19 of 199 with the uh, Hornets. Let's see. The Hornets are owned by Benny J. Benny J. There you go. It's a nice card. Get that sleeved up for you. There's two autos per box here. Uh, first person to comment, one, two, three, or four. One, two, three, or four. Let's see if we can, uh, let's see if we can find it. Uh, Jaden chimes in with one, so I'm going to take another pack right off of this deck. See if we can search for one of the two autographs in this box. There's KD. Malik Monk, that's cool. Another insert, uh, Donovan Mitchell, nice. NBA City. Utah Jazz, that's a nice little insert right there. Who does the Jazz, who has the Jazz? Thomas M has the Jazz, so that card will be coming out to you. That's a cool looking card for sure. Kyrie, we've got Trevor Ariza, former Laker for, for a hot minute. Tobias Harris, not too shabby, not too shabby. Let's see here. Iguodala, Pau Gasol, another former Laker, another rookie, Colin Sexton. There we go. That's pretty cool with the Cavs. We got Jeremy Lamb. We got DJ Augustin. We got, too, a nice Julius Randle. Put those to the side. Nice Julius Randle. Uh, wait, wait, Steven Adams. What is it? Steven Adams, Julius Randle. Oh, it's a dual card. So this is going to go to, uh, because this is the way we do it, it's on our website, the person on the left here, Stephen Adams, then the Thunder. The Thunder uh, belonged to Benny J. Benny J is a local guy. He bought a lot of spots in this break uh, to help us fill it out. So anyone who's participating, maybe say thanks to Benny J for helping us fill out this break. Pretty nice. One, two, three, or four. Real quick, first person. One, two, three, or four. Where do you think the auto lies? One, two, three, or four. Noah chimes in first with four. Let's see if he's right. Let's see if he's right. We got Rondo. He's a Laker now. Mm -hmm. It says up here that they don't have a picture of him yet in the Lakers uniform. Uh, da, 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 da. There's something here. Something here. Ooh, that's cool. Not in a Lakers uniform yet, because this was the first product to hit the shelves for this season, and they didn't have any uh, photos of LeBron in a Laker uniform yet. But it is a LeBron James Lakers card, um, and it might be numbered. Let's see. Followed by a Dr. J card. This is not numbered. It's just a purple parallel. 
Very cool, though. Uh, Lakers, by the way, belong to Benny J. He got matched up with some sick teams. That's what happens when you buy like a thousand spots in a break. Better chances of getting better teams. Uh, let's leave that for Benny. That's cool. Dr. J here. Ooh, two Dr. J cards back to back. And a Gary Trent Jr. rookie card. That's pretty nice. Two Dr. J's, though, with the 76ers. It's a nice Legends of the Ball card right here. Who's got the 76ers? I'll tell you right now. It's Benny J. You got to be kidding me. I'll tell you right now. Benny J got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spots in this break. He went crazy. He got eight spots in this break. So he got some sick teams randomly. It just improved his chances. <clears throat> you might be hearing his name a lot. Black Friday. This was only a $10 break to start off with. And then Black Friday, uh, we reduced it by 50%. So all the spots sold, they were $5 spots. Here's a nice Ben Simmons right here. They were $5 spots. And they went pretty fast at that price for sure. Ooh, there's a sick little Kobe. Highlights. That's sick right there. Very nice card. Laker highlights right there. Hoops. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Matt, what do you think about basketball? Do you, do you follow basketball much? Do you have any favorite players or teams? What can you share from your world about basketball as I crack into this pack right here? Yeah, so I'm a huge Laker fan. Follow the Lakers. Generally don't tend to watch every game until we get midway through the season. Yeah. Probably like a lot of people. Uh, here's a nice Mo Bamba. Oh, yeah, number five. With a rookie uh, rookie card, Mo Bamba, with the magic. Let's see, Orlando Magic belongs to Alvin. Alvin O, a little, little love for you, the little rookie card love. <clears throat> so Matt's a Lakers fan. Do you have any favorite? Let's, let's hear your favorite current and favorite all-time Laker. All right, so favorite current is Ingram. Okay. Uh, favorite all-time Laker, Shaquille O'Neal. Shaquille. The yes. big Aristotle. That's right. You know, that guy was such a dominant force in the league. Crazy. No one ever like him. Probably no one will ever be like him. Robert Williams, the third rookie with Boston. There's a uh, Zaheer Smith rookie with uh, Philadelphia. Those are both nice cards. Lakers are my favorite team as well. I'm trying to think of my current favorite Laker. Um, there's really nobody on the team that I'm super in love with. Um, so I'm going to have to go LeBron just because. Um, the guy is so dominant. And, hey, he technically is a current Laker now. It doesn't, doesn't quite feel like it still. Um, but, yeah, my favorite all-time Laker... I think I gotta go magic. I gotta go magic. You know, I, I love Kobe. I love Kareem. I love Shaq. Um, I was a big Robert Ory fan when 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 Ory oh, was yeah. playing. You know, Dean um, Fish. Yeah, Derek Fisher definitely. Um, but man, you can't beat the Showtime era and Magic Johnson. Speaking of favorite players, here's your favorite player, Maddie. Ooh. Bingram right there. The big hope is what I'm calling him. <laughs> well, I hope he can uh, help lead the Lakers into the playoffs. And here's your, your all-time favorite. Yeah. Shaquille O'Neal. This is him with the magic right here, though. Still a pretty cool card. And here's uh, James Harden. Here's a dominant force in the NBA right here. Numbered. This is a numbered card, 1223 out of 2018 with the Houston Rockets. Who's got the Rockets right now? We're talking about CJ. CJ, there's a little numbered James Harden insert for you. That's a nice card. We'll put a sleeve on that for you. Ely Okobo, rookie, with Phoenix. That's cool. Kyle Korver, CJ Miles. Continuing on. Still have yet to find an autograph right here. Sure. Might as well. I love this name, Shabazz. Oh, yeah, Napier. Sabonis. Vince Carter. I was just talking with someone 
earlier this week, it's incredible that Vince Carter is still in the league. He's like 43 years old. Yeah. And he's so dominant. This guy is such a powerhouse. You know, to be that active and that strong at that age is incredible. It's a testimony to who he is and his work ethic and just his his skill level. Right. He's not winning any dunk competitions anymore, but the man can play. But he can still throw down. Yes, he can. And it looks like we got... Bum, 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 Panini points. Panini rewards points. So this is going to have to be randomed off to, again to somebody, and we'll figure out how we can do that. Uh, I'll figure out how to do that when Matt sits down to break the next box. How's that sound? We'll live random that on my on my cell phone. Hopefully that is just a bonus hit and not in place of an autograph. Um, if anyone from Panini is watching this video right now by chance, 15 minutes in, please do us all a favor and get rid of the Panini Rewards. It's not a good idea. Um, if you don't know, Panini Rewards are basically a redemption card. You get points towards credit for their website, and then they offer just a select number of items that you can buy with those points, and they're mostly single cards. And I was looking at the, the list of like baseball stuff a few weeks ago, and it just is not... Not not good stuff usually. Mm -mm. Not stuff to be excited about, really. In my opinion, I'm just one man. But uh, anyone else watching live right now that has experience with Panini points or has kind of recently checked out the website to see what they're offering in exchange for points that can maybe weigh in, maybe someone who likes Panini points or someone uh, that doesn't like watching them or whatever. Um, Hmm. <clears throat> One second, please. <clears throat> I wonder. <laughs> Draymond Green, let's see. Yeah, anybody have any opinion on Panini points? Matt, do you have an opinion on Panini points? I do. And here's here's where I'm at right now. I have about twelve to fourteen hundred points saved up in a cache, and I still haven't found anything really worth jumping at. Huh. So Yeah. It takes a while to really get something you love. Right. There you go, uh, Trey Young. Trey Young rookie right in front of us here. Uh, Atlanta. Let's see who's got Atlanta Hawks here. Uh, oh, it's in the top spot, Jorge F. There you go. One of the top rookies right here, and Trey Young. Get a sleeve on that for you. Somebody says, let's see, Fiasco Plays commented, says uh, he or she likes likes Panini Points. Tell us why. Tell us why you like Panini Points. Do you like them in place of actual hits in the product? Uh, somebody else, DP something, says he feels like a scapegoat. Feels like a scapegoat for the company to be super lazy. I'm not sure if it's them being lazy. I think it's them just trying to find a another solution to not being able to get player autographs into products on time. Another solution besides redemption cards. Um, I don't know if it's laziness. I would I would disagree with that. Um, but. Uh, Look at this guy's picture right here, Lonnie Walker the Fourth. That's a great shot. <clears throat> Dwayne Wade right here. He's a numbered Maxi Kleber. Right here, numbered forty of one ninety nine with the Dallas Mavericks. Uh, Brandon D. Nice numbered card for you there. Well, hopefully we find, I'd like to at least get hands-on an actual autographed card in this box. That would be nice. Uh, let's see. Kentavious Caldwell Pope. That's a great name. That is a heck of a name. I'm just going to call him Kent for short. I'm sure I'm not the first person to do that. Julius Randall. He's no longer a Laker, is he? Nope. Russell Westbrook with the Thunder. He's, he's still with the Thunder. Afrony Simmons, or Simons, rookie. <clears throat> Jaron Jackson Jr., rookie. Memphis Griv Grizzlies, excuse me. Memphis Grizzlies belong to none other than Benny J. with eight spots in the break. He happened to get matched up with some, 
some good teams too. He got the Lakers. He got the Thunder. He got who else did he get? Uh, the Warriors. <laughs> there are three big teams right there. Um, Landry Shamet or Shame insert there. Hopefully we still find another autograph in this box, and then Matt's going to sit down and uh, rip into the uh, box of certified basketball in just a moment. The hoops cards do take me back. They are taking me back. Anthony Davis, 327 of 2018. Road to the finals. That's cool. Pelicans belong to uh, Billy O. There's a nice numbered card insert for you. Billy O, very nice card, 327 of 2018. Getting a sleeve on that right now. I'm, I'm not liking how these packs are, are not like the corner right here on all these. It's not ripping open. Sometimes this foil is just... Joel Embiid right there. That guy's a dominator. Buddy Hild. It was a baseball player named Buddy Held. No, Woody Held. Yeah. <laughs> I always thought it was a funny name. Michael Porter Jr. Who got ne or we got next with Denver. Wesley Johnson, Marquise Chris, Rodney Hood. Um, one through five. One through five. First person to type in one through five. I'll pick that pack out and open it up for you. Let's see if we can find the last auto. Goody 302 says three. All right, let's see. See every corner right there. Rudy Gay, Miles Bridges, uh, Kemba Walker, Jonathan Simmons, Isaac, Ben Simmons, numbered 1082 of 2018. 76ers belong to Benny J. Troy Brown, Grayson Allen. Grayson Allen. Let's what do you think about Grayson Allen, Matt? Do you know much about Grayson Allen? Uh, if I remember, Grayson Allen went to Duke, therefore I don't like him. <laughs> you don't like him just because he was on Duke, but he had a he had a problem with, uh, with tr I believe it was tripping fouls. He had a real penchant for tripping other guys on the court flagrantly, and uh, <laughs> man, man, thought he was um, playing soccer. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. He just uh, he's got. Uh, that's all I'm gonna say about Grayson Allen. Let's just get that out of here. I'm not a fan. That's all I'm going to say. Look at these corners. Every corner. Right here. Okay, Bobby Portis. Let's see if there's an autograph right here. It's Clay Thompson. Base. Paul Millsap. Dwight Howard. He was a Laker for a hot minute. Remember that? For a hot, very hot minute. Cup of tea with the Lakers. We got nice Lonzo Ball insert. Action shots right there. Dwayne Wade. And a couple of the base cards behind him. Some nice cards. Nice uh, insert right there. I like that. Of course, the Lakers belong to none other than Benny J. Benny J. Uh, one, two, or three. One, two, or three. First person to comment. One, two, or three. I'll open up that pack. We should still have an autograph in one of these. Nate Dog says three. Let's go with three. I'm going to open it up un upside down, see if this corner It's not as easy to rip out upside down. John Stockton was on the back. Steven Adams. Miles Turner. Autograph? No. CJ McCollum insert. CJ McCollum insert, not number. Amplifiers is what this insert is called. Still a nice looking card. Portland, Portland Trailblazers. I like that card. Very cool. Who has Portland? Probably Benny, but I'm going to find him on the list anyways. Let's see. Portland belongs to Benny J. Yeah. All right. 50% chance. Who wants to call it? L or R? L or R? L or R? John Samples chimes in first with L. Let's see if he's right. He had a 50% chance. L for Lonzo. No autograph. Is that really in the last pack, or did we get the shaft on this box? Let's see, folks. What do you think? What do you think happened? Hard to tell looking at the edges. Hard to tell. We got Eric Gordon. We've got Jason Tatum. 
Wayne Edmond. Come on, autograph. Oh, okay, there is an autograph. There's a backwards card right behind uh, Jeru Holiday here. Backwards card. And we have Jerome Robinson, rookie. Tyson Chandler. And the backwards card is... Oh, Ooh, wow. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you're going to get one autograph in the box... It might as well be Trey. Might, might as well be Trey Young. Wow. Atlanta Hawks. Jorge F. is going to be liking that one right there. Wow. That's cool. One auto and a points card, which uh, as soon as Matt sits down, I'm going to uh, set up a live randomizer on my phone to randomize this off to uh, one of the participants. Um, we'll just set that right here off to the side for now. But that's sick. It's an insert rookie, too. It's not even a... It's a NBA Hoops Hot Signatures Rookie. That is a nice-looking card, man. Trey Young. Dude. How about that, Matt? What do you, what do you think? Well, if it ha you had to wait for one card. That was the one you waited for, right? Yeah. That, yeah feels good. good to get it. That's pretty... Are you ready to sit down and crack some certified? Oh, absolutely. Hopefully pull some fire for everyone that's watching right now. Some heat is on the way. All right. Maddie's going to sit down. Say what's up to Card Shop Matt as he sits down, everybody. I'm going to work on this live randomizer. All right, guys. Here we go. Certified coming up. Ooh, somebody pulled an Oscar Robinson. That's pretty cool. Oscar Robinson, see? Yeah. My dad would freak out about that. That was like his favorite player. Okay, so certified. Two autographs and one memorabilia card per box. We are going to hop right in. A little bit easier to rip than those hoops packs mm -hmm. so far. All right. Oh. Here we go. Didn't have to wait long for our first hit and certified. First and pack heat. Here we go. Jerome Robinson with the Clips. Nice. New generation. Numbered 80 out of 149. Blue patch. Very cool card. Clippers belong to Brandon D. Here you go. Sorry, Benny J. We're not calling you. We're calling Brandon this time. <laughs> nice hit. New generation. Jerome Robinson. Lakers all the way, baby. Lakers all the way. Although that was Clippers. Sorry. I digress. All right, next pack. Keeping it up. Let's see if we can find something else pretty nice in here. Eric's working on the randomizer for that points card. All right, John Wall. Here we go. Hamadou Diallo. I like kind of just saying that. Hamadou. Very graffiti esque card. Thaddeus, okay. Corver just got traded to the Jazz. I feel bad for the Jazz. <laughs> All right. If you could pronounce that name, then you're better than me. Zvi. Zvi. <laughs> That's our guy. He's a Laker. And Spee, we got to see your name. Oh, here's something. Something hot. Oh, Robert Williams III, auto patch. Look at that. Nice. Very, very Definitely cool. Sick. You guys soak that in. Freshman fabric. Boston. Bean Town represented now in our break. I'm going to hold that up just for a second so you guys can soak it in. Uh, Boston. Let's see if I can find who owns Boston. The odds are good that it's Benny J, but I don't know for sure yet. <laughs> uh, there we go. CJH. CJ. CJ. Hey, congrats, CJ. This card's coming to you, buddy. Nice, buddy. 108 out of 149. Lots of green in this one. Not bad for a $5 buy-in. Right? Yeah. All right. Put that down. Move on to the next pack. Hi, right. David. Real quick, can I do this live randomizer before, right, you get into that last, before you get into that pack? Real quick, so uh, for the uh, for the Panini points uh, card here, I got all the uh, participants right here in the random.org on my phone. 
uh, with 64% battery on it. We're just going to randomize this one time. Whoever comes up to the top of the list will get the points. Here we go. Three, two, one. Boom. There it is. Terry H. Terry H. So you're going to get the uh, points card. Congrats to you. Right on. There it is, folks. Official. Boom. You may continue, Matty. All right. Going back, congratulations, Terry. You get 150 points to Panini. LeBron all the way, man. LeBron. All right. Here's a number, Jacob Evans the third, 293 out of 299. He's with the Golden State Warriors. Uh, Golden State. Let's see if I can find them quickly. Here we go. Golden State belongs to Benny J. Go figure. So, Benny J, here you go. Another hit for you, sir. Do we have people chiming in about Cavs all the way, Lakers all the way? What's going on over here? <laughs> no, I'm trying to check it out. <laughs> I'll check for a Bagley rookie and maybe I can pull it up in the end. Here we go. Akobo, Eli Akobo, 73 out of 99. Rookie with Phoenix. Uh, well, I know we've called Phoenix already several times today, but Phoenix is for Jorge. Jorge, congratulations to this card yours. We'll get that sleeved up for you. Irving, here's a decoy. Boo on decoys. And Bojan. So Kobo rookie's pretty nice. I yeah. like the, uh, you know me, I like it when it's the same color as the jersey or the at least the team colors, orange there. You get the little highlights, the orange highlights yeah, in there. Yeah. It comes through nice. nice. It's very nice. <laughs> We're all talking about the Lakers, but I think it's the other L.A. team that's the top of the, uh, top of the West right now. The Clips? The Clips, man. Out playing. DeAnthony Melton here. Well, Drew Holiday, UCLA alumni, I think. Kyle Lowry insert. Energizers. Kyle Lowry. I don't see a number on it. Dennis Smith, John Collins. Yeah, Clippers are uh, top of the Western Conference. I know. Shea Gildress Alexander, they're rookies. God, that guy looks like something, man. I think he went number 11. The guy looks like he should have been top five. Warriors are fifteen and seven. Clippers are thirteen and six. Warriors should be on there. How does that? How does that work? I don't know. I don't know how that works either. Here's a numbered Tyreek Evans, two fourteen out of two ninety nine, and he's with Memphis. Uh, Memphis is Benny J. Go figure, Benny J. Another hit for you. A gold team card, Lonzo Ball. Yeah, I think it's not updated yet. It looks like Golden State's on the top. Okay. Clippers are a half a game. Denver's a half a game behind. Here we go. Lonzo Ball, gold team. Maybe we'll just leave that one up for... Yeah. I think right it's on. Benny. Next pack. Still searching for, I think, another autograph. That is nice. That's a beautiful card. Yeah. I love gold. <laughs> Chandler. Oh, here we go. Speaking of Dante Di Vincenzo. Di Vincenzo. Di Vincenzo. He's with the Bucks. Very cool. Rookie mm. roll call auto. Love on card. Huh? Yeah. Little uh, Milwaukee Bucks. Let's see who Milwaukee goes to. Milwaukee. Did you know that uh, Milwaukee is Algonquin for. The good land. <laughs> if you're watching, two points right now if you can tell me what movie that's from. <laughs> it's actually pronounced Mile Wake. It's Algonquin for The Good Land. Uh, I can tell you Following the like author of that line, or not the author, but the singer of that line is Alice Cooper. Does this guy know how to party or what? Yeah. <laughs> Benny J gets this Dante DiVincenzo. And we'll get that sleeved up for you, Benny. Of course he does. Yes, of course he does. And that should wrap up. Oh, speaking of, sh we were just talking about him, Gilgis Alexander, certified future. 
Not numbered, but still cool. This guy looks like he's going to be a player. Oh, there's your man right there. The Greek Freak. Ante to Kuwampo. Yeah, um, just the Greek Ante Freak. Ante to Kuwampo. <laughs> I like how he could take five strides and run across the entire game. Yeah, he's pretty dominant. Clippers Nation, Joshua, holding strong. Somebody uh, guessed the movie the movie quote correctly. It was Wayne's World indeed. Two points. DeMar DeRozan, here we go. Here's a numbered Jordan Clarkson. He got moved to the Cavs. 125 out of 199. Cleveland Cavaliers. Uh, belong to 19. John. John, congratulations. Nice we'll get this card. sleeved up. A little blue highlighted one. A little insert. Lasting impressions. Patrick Ewing. That guy used to be a player. Georgetown. G-Town. Uh -huh. Pat Ewing. Did Patrick Ewing have a nickname? I don't, think, I don't remember him having a nickname. Uh, I mostly slang insults at him because he was playing against the Lakers. <laughs> All right, here's a rookie number, 25 out of 49, Josh Akogi. Nice. There you go. Minnesota. Minnesota. Let's see here. Ooh. Oh, that last Jackson. Jackson H. Huh. With an X. I like it. Jackson, this purple rookie, Josh Akogi's all yours. And we're going to wrap it up. Insert Blake Griffin, a decoy card, a Dylan Brooks, and a Victor Oladipo. Why don't you keep going into that Donruss right. box? Plug our website first. You got it. You guys, if you missed out on our break, we want to be a part of the next one. HOFBC is where you go. HOFBC.com has all of our current breaks, including another basketball mixer, another football mixer, and a Bowman's Best Full Case. Yeah. Check it out if you want to get involved. They're really fun. All right. And here we go. We're hopping into Donruss. Two autographs on average per box. Here goes nothing. Keep going until you pull the first autograph or redemption or whatever, and then I'll sit in. What if it's points? Whatever. <laughs> any, any kind of a hit like that. Points or redemption or autograph. As soon as you pull one, then I'll sit down and do the rest. All right. You got it. You got it. Big jumbo packs. I'm going to crush these guys as fast as I can here. Anytime uh, the Donruss boxes are included in a break, like we included a Donruss box in our next uh, four-box mixer, uh, it's a good thing because there's they're fat packs, so at least it ups the uh, card average per spot. So yeah. you got a chance to get some cards. You yeah, know? you're not gonna leave with nothing, right? Yeah. Uh, slippery little sucker. All right, first pack. Good Push through this pretty quick. Uh, just to take a look. Durant, Reddit, Collins. I see color. It's coming up, and it is cool. Press proof. A press proof. Drew Holiday. A Bruin. Nice. You like that? You like the Bruins? Uh, yeah, I would say I like the Bruins a little Tell, bit. Why do you like the Bruins? Well, you know, I kind of tend to think that I'm a Bruin since I attended UCLA for a long time. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, there you go. Drew Holiday, New Orleans. Uh, New Orleans is going to. That's a nice card, man. Yeah. Show that I'll get some of that reflection on the screen there. Look at the, look at the psychedelia there, man. <laughs> Billy O, that song was dedicated to you. And by the way, you get this card too. Billy O. Billy O. Nice. Let's leave that up for you. Very nice card. Ooh, Kuzma, Court Kings, Porter. Miller, oh, a lot of inserts in the middle of this. Okay, okay, and here comes a rook, Devonte Graham. I really wish they would. Yeah, not put, make put us all the cards right side up. There we go. There's our Clippers, Shea Gilders Alexander. Yeah, man, this is kind of rough. Turning the bag, Mo Bamba. A lot of rookies Mo. in this pack. Give me some Mo Bamba. You got it. Ba Bamba. <laughs> Jaron Jackson, you got like uh, three of the top five picks in here. And Ellie Okobo again. All right. Well, definitely not leaving with nothing after this box, for yeah. sure. Good stuff. Cool looking inserts, man. I love this. Uh, I like these Court Kings 
these court kings. Let me show this off. These court sure. kings inserts. I don't know if you guys can see the detail on the front of the card, but this is like this is like the Panini Diamond Kings or the Gridiron Kings, kind of an artistic type of card with almost a canvasy texture to it. Very cool. Move on. All right. I'm sure we'll see some more of those court kings. This was a good pack, man. Dennis Rodman and Chris Paul. You got some names in there. All right. Blake Griffin take off. Here's some more court kings. Including Dennis Smith Jr., Robert Parrish. Oh, I hated Robert Parrish. <laughs> yeah. I hated that guy. Big rivalry there. Oh, yeah. I'm sure Magic Johnson hated him, too. Speaking of Oscar Robinson, there he is. And KD. All right. Miles Bridges, rated rookie. Griffin, here's another rated rookie. Kevin Huerta. Man. Hamadou. I Hamadou? see his name. I'm going to say it. Hamadou. Javon Carter. All right, moving through. Jaron Jackson again. I think that's twice I've seen him in two packs. <laughs> a lot of rookies. A lot of rookies. Nice cards, man. Yeah. Okay. Cutting through these. Sean Kemp. Wasn't Sean Kemp a uh, dunk, uh, slam dunk contest winner one year? I, if he wasn't, he was definitely in contention. What he did, was a contender for, was... Wasn't uh, he the I, guy who dunked with his, his armor that, over his eyes? That dunked? was Jordan. Michael Jordan dunked. I thought Sean Kemp did that, too. He may have. He may have. You know, I'm sure the YouTube universe will correct us yeah. if we're wrong. Um, he was, I think, the most notable... Uh, has the has the most kids? I think he was known for having more children than any other NBA player. Here we go, All Star. Ooh, is that Pistol Pete? Sure is. Aaron Holiday, Trent Jr. I think I remember Gary Trent Senior from like 1995. All right, Jerome Robinson. Cool. I'm still looking for that first hit in this box. Maybe I was thinking of this, D. Brown. Let's look at this real quick. D. Brown with the Celtics with the blindfolded dunk contest. Take note of the uh, the Reebok, the old school Reebok pumps right there. I wish they would reissue those bad boys. <laughs> hey, I used to have a pair like that, Eric. I had a pair that I pumped up. I had a, uh, a childhood buddy of mine who I would get all his hand-me-downs, and I got a pair of hand-me-down pumps. Nice. The original gray and white ones. All right. LeBron. We were calling his name earlier. There he is. That's uh, Spanish for the Bron. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, here we go. Anthony Davis, maybe future Laker, maybe. That's a lot of speculation. Dennis Rodman with the colored hair. I remember. D Rod. Yeah. Kyrie Thomas. No hits yet. No, huh? nothing yet. Trey Young. Lonnie Walker. Still looking for two autos. Mm-hmm. Man, this just is a drag having to turn these over all the time. All right. Led the league in dunks. Thank you for that stat tidbit. Who was that? Uh, that was, I want to, Sean Kemp led the league in dunks every year with 2.1 a game. Oh, boy. The rest of your comment is not cool, to say the least. All right, here we go. I think I got something here. And there's our first auto. And it's a nice one. Jaron Jackson, 85 out of 99 patch auto. Rookie, very, very cool. Memphis Grizzly. And we've called out Memphis already, but we're going to call him again. Number three, Benny J. Go figure. Benny J. Yep. We'll get that sleeved up and over to you, Benny. J, that's triple J for Benny J. 
That's awesome. Jaron Jackson Jr. That's right. All right. Well, you've seen a few rookies. I'm going to step out and let Card Shop take over. All right. You pulled one hit, and now it's my turn. That's what I, uh, that's what I, that's what I wanted to do. So I'm going to step back in and rip the rest of these packs right now. Let's try to find the last autograph. Give me a number, one through five. One through five. First person to comment a number, one through five. I'll pull that pack, and we'll see if there's an auto in there right now. We will see if there's an auto. Epic Ninja says three. So we're going to go with that pack right there. Let's see if he's right. Here we go, folks. Joel Embiid off the top. Harden, Wade, I thought, let's see, Wade right there, Rubio, Tobias Harris, oh, oh something backwards right there, something backwards right there, let's take a look at uh, the inserts real quick, John Wall, I like these cards right here, Andrew Wiggins, the heart, very uh, 80s, something about that, I love it. Ooh, a retro series. Larry Bird right there. It's a nice uh, Russell Westbrook. All clear for takeoff. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to flip through all the rest of those cards because Panini is annoying me right now with their lack of good collation. And let's flip this over, though, and see what's behind it. Vincent Edwards of the Houston Rockets, a significant significant signatures insert right there. That's a nice card. Houston Rockets belong to CJ. Wow, CJ, I don't know if you're still watching. You probably took off, but you got two hits out of this break. Not bad for 50% off spot for five bucks a spot. That's pretty sick for you. I assume I'll be seeing you in the store pretty soon to pick up these cards. Uh, they should all be sorted by end of day today. And starting to ship those out. Uh, maybe starting to ship them out end of day today, but uh, definitely starting tomorrow. CJ's local, though, so I won't have to ship his cards out. He'll just swing by and pick them up. And you're right, Epic Ninja, you called it. You called it. And there shouldn't be too much left in here unless uh, Panini graced us with some kind of a bonus. Let's see, Grant Hill, press proof. Cool card, not numbered, I don't think, no. Kyrie Irving, Jaron Jackson Jr., Reggie Miller, Russell Westbrook, Jaron Jackson Jr., the rookies, that's a cool card. Kevin Knox, rated rookie, cool. All cards do ship in our breaks thus far, so uh, all the base cards will be shipped. We may not look at all the base base cards live on camera like this. I'm skipping through the front of those. Um, but you uh, will be able to see them when you get them at home. This is a nice uh, Carl Anthony Towns press proof, man. This is a sweet-looking card right here. Look at the color and the design on that. A nice gloss on it. What do you think, Matty? Oh, that's sharp. That is sharp. Very cool. Followed by Dominique Wilkins. Did he have a nickname? Neek. Neek? Yeah. Oh, oh, was it really? Yeah. Uh, Landry Chamay. I wonder if Chamay uses a chamois to dry off his car, his car after he washes it. Pacers. Uh, we got Paul George. Swishful thinking. Steph Curry, Hart, and uh, Dante Defense. Di Vincenzo. We saw her not rated it is. Yeah. Two packs left. Then we'll do a quick recap and then we'll call it a day. Hopefully we get a bonus in here. Hopefully we get a bonus. Uh, let's see. Grayson Allen, press proof with the Jazz out of 199. Who had the Utah Jazz? That's Thomas M. There you go. Nice uh, rated rookie for you. Ben Simmons, Court Kings, Wilt the Stilt, Chamberlain, Stefan Marbury. Reminds me of a good story, that Wilt card. Maybe I'll tell it 
It's actually not, it's a, so my brother, years ago, when my brother was a kid, attended a basketball camp, semi-local, that was put on by, uh, who are those two guys up there in the picture? I forget, up in that picture right there, the, above the picture. Uh, oh, yeah, Stacy Ogman and Baron Davis. Stacy Ogman and Baron Davis put on this basketball camp. My brother attended. Last day of the camp, uh, they had a, a, an event like the closing ceremonies. And, uh, you know, my dad's telling me this story. And he says, you know, one of the guys, one of the dads says, hey, stick around. You're not going to want to miss what happens. Next thing he knows, he sees at the far end of the court, the door open up. And from the shadows, a tall figure steps under the doorway and steps up, and he realizes, oh, my gosh, it's Wilt Chamberlain. They got to meet Wilt the Stilt Chamberlain, and he signed things for all the kids that were hanging out. And a uh, pretty epic moment for my dad, who grew up in that era and got to watch him, never got to meet him until then. And my brother, fortunate for him, too. I was not there, but still cool. Anyways, that's... Quick story about Wilt showing up. Wilt Chamberlain always reminds me of Conan the Destroyer. I don't know if you ever saw that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Tell us why. Tell us why he reminds you of Conan the Destroyer. Sure. Wilt Chamberlain played a prominent role backstabbing guy in uh, where he fought Arnold Schwarzenegger at the end of Conan oh, the Destroyer. Oh, did he really? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Here's a John Collins press proof out of 199 for Atlanta again. Jorge F. There you go. I'll have to go back and watch Conan the Destroyer. I think I only saw saw the Barbarian movie. Scotty Pippen, C.J. McCollum, Scotty Pippen. We'll go through this last pack, and then we'll do a let's see Joel Embiid, Steph Curry. Actually, well, we got uh, Chimezi Metu. There are some tough to pronounce names in the NBA. I think there are harder to pronounce names in the NBA than there are in the NFL. Jalen Brunson's not too hard to pronounce though. J.R. Smith is pretty easy. Michael Bridges, rated rookie. Is it Bo Bojan or Bojan Bogdanovich? Yep. Which one? Bo Jay? I yeah, I think it's Bojan. Chandler Hutchins Hutchison. Andre Drummond. What you talk about, Mr. Drummond? Michael Porter Jr., TJ Warren, Rod Rodion's Kurux. Anybody? Anybody? I'm just not familiar with that name, that's for sure. I butchered a lot of those, but that's all right. We're going to do a quick recap. Quick recap for those of you at home. We saw some pretty good hits come out. We definitely saw some good hits come out of this little... Not bad for three boxes, I would say. Don't you say, Matty? I would say it's pretty cool. We saw two really great hits. This cards are slipping and sliding all over the place. These little plastic sleeves. Here we go! Just a recap of some of the uh, parallels right now. This recap is uh, brought to you by us right here at the Hall of Fame Baseball Cards at HOFBC.com. If you missed out on this break, visit us online today to get into our next basketball mixer or football or baseball group break. We would love to have you. Don't blink. Here comes a recap. John Collins, Dr. J, LeBron, Julius Randle, Stephen Adams, Jeremy Lamb, DeAndre Ayton. Jaron Jackson Jr., Maxi Kleber, Trey Young, Eli, Eli Okobo, James Harden, Otto Porter Jr., Jimmy Butler, like that insert right there, Zahir Smith, Robert Williams III, Mo Bamba, Kobe Bryant, Grayson Allen, Carl Anthony Towns, boop, doop, boop, doop, <laughs> J. Rue Holiday. Josh Okogie, Jordan Clarkson, Tyreek Evans, Lonzo Ball, this is one of my favorites, gold team right there, Elia Kobo out of 99, that's cool, Jacob Evans, CJ McCollum, Lonzo Ball, Ben Simmons, Anthony Davis, those are the uh, parallels there. Uh, we got a points a points card here out of the first box of hoops, and this ri randomly went to Terry H., the points card. 
And then uh, the autos and relics we found were uh, out of Donruss. We found significant sig sin uh, signatures. Vincent Edwards. Nice auto patch out of 99 for Jaron Jackson Jr. and the Grizzlies. Dante DiVincenzo. Nice on-card uh, autograph there with the Milwaukee Bucks. Jerome Robinson, relic from Certified. Clippers. We had a Robert, Robert Williams III, auto relic out of 149 for Boston. And then uh, kicked it all off with this bad boy right here. Trey Young was the only actual autograph we got from Hoops uh, besides the points card, which was in place of an autograph, semi-unfortunately. But uh, still, if you're going to get one auto, one auto, that's pretty good. I like how he signs it just tie. T-Y. Mm -hmm. Straight to the point. So that's, that's pretty good. That's how it happened. That's how it happened today right here at uh, Hall of Fame Baseball Cards, where we also do basketball cards. Uh, Maddie, any final thoughts? No, I, you know, I think for our first basketball break, it was very good to see some of these young rookies. I, I liked the cards, and I had a lot of fun. Thanks, buddy. Glad you could be here. Uh, hopefully you guys all enjoy watching this break. We thank you so much for jumping in. Those of you that did, uh, if you missed out on this break, jump into our next one. We'd love to have you. We've got a sweet four box basketball mixer set up right now we got a sweet panini football mixer and a and a just awesome baseball case break so visit us online today at hofbc.com or pick up a t-shirt check out these sweet t-shirts plus the original logo t-shirts too for 19.99 you can become part of the family so for hall of fame baseball cards in arcadia california where we also do basketball and football and hockey and other things Card Shop Eric here saying thanks for watching. Thanks to Card Shop Matt for jumping in. Maddie, how do we sign off? Peace. Peace.